My name is Miriam Okami. I'm the founder of Touche Cosmetics. Touche Cosmetics is a beauty company that mostly uh, concentrates on uh, imported uh, uh, products. Uh, so we mostly focus on products that are mostly imported here in Kenya. Things like uh, aftershaves, uh, the massage oils, um, the body splash, the baby suns uh, sunscreen cream. So we provide them locally and at an affordable price. inspired me to venture into the beauty industry is the fact that I was brought up uh, by a mother who was doing the same. She used to make the baby jellies and sell them, uh, uh, you know, the powder, the baby powder. So uh, manufacturing is in my blood. I love it. And um, the fact that uh, most of these products are brought into Kenya at a very high price. Um, I'll dare you to go find a massage oil you'll find it at uh, maybe a supermarket and at a very uh, high price. But coming up with this idea in 2012 is the fact that I am able to provide this uh, locally to a common monainchi. They can walk into any shop at Du Bois and get their massage gel, their touche massage gel, and you know, uh, help the professionals in the beauty industry make maximum uh, profit like the nail technicians, uh, the spas, and so on. So back in 2012, this when we started a company, but it was not under the name uh, Touche. Um, we walked into a nail spa. When we walked into the nail spa, after washing the feet of my friend, I was uh, back in college, they were using uh, lotion to massage her feet. So um, that wasn't right for me, being brought up by a mother who was doing manufacturing. And uh, I know about massages are done by massagers, not uh, lotions. So um, that inspired me to be able to provide that uh, nail technician in Akibanda of an affordable massage well that uh, she, uh, he, she will be able to make maximum profit and be able to give their clients an actual massage using the proper oils, yes. First of all, um, we're in Africa. The thing with us, and something we need to embrace, is the fact that um, most of our products, will be, we export them. They go out there, they add value to it, and return it back here um, when it's expensive. Uh, for example, uh, let me give an example with coffee. It's the same thing they do. We, we sell the, the seeds, uh, they add value to it, they bring it back as coffee, we buy it expensively. So that's what we are doing with the uh, cosmetic uh, industry. We are selling our raw oils, our coconut oil, our shea butter. It, uh, they, it, they go out there, they add value to it, return it back to us as the massage oils and all that, and they sell it to us uh, at an expensive price. First of all, uh, before I put my product out there in the market, it's certified by KEBS. Um, I think people need to know that whatever is being imported, we, we are getting a lot of fishy products uh, coming into uh, the local markets. Whatever is being imported, uh, most of them are not going through KEBS. Mine is certified. It's able to, uh, I am able to confidently tell you that uh, this is A and B and C that is going to help you when it comes to your skin. And, um, and just uh, be able to give my clients maximum skin benefits when it comes to uh, my products. When it comes to cabs here in Kenya, it's a bit tricky because uh, first and foremost, when I have my prototype and I need to take it to cabs, it takes a maximum of three months. So uh, uh, the three months I am stranded, I can't put my product out there until I get my certification. 
Uh, but the good thing is you're able, after the process, you're able to know that your products are good and uh, they can be consumed uh, by anyone in Kenya or uh, the world. The biggest challenge, uh, challenge we are facing right now as uh, local producers is the fact that people, uh, most people are not embracing local products. Um, but when it comes to competitors, the thing with our competitors is the fact that they have a big advantage when it comes to packaging. So I will produce a product uh, that is 10 times uh, great than uh, the biggest maybe uh, beauty industry you know, right now in Kenya. But my biggest challenge is packaging. I have no variety of packaging. They produce the same packages and uh, when you get a different one you have to import and it's very expensive or I need to make my own, um, you know, the mold and it's super expensive to make my own, uh, you know, special uh, bottle. So the biggest challenge we have currently is being provided by, uh, by pack the packaging materials are terrible right now. Okay. to say I did this because uh, besides all the challenges uh, the thing I love with Kenya is that when you find that one person that will support you they go uh, out with you all the way I was able to uh, be recruited by Somo I have gotten a platform from Somo I am able to uh, advertise my products I have been able to find clients with big boutiques at Du Bois and I was just starting out with very, uh, badge, uh, a very small uh, badge of products and they took it into the market. It was totally new, the strawberry uh, massage oil was totally new in Kenya and I took it to the boys and it is all over Kenya right now. I am so proud of Kenya and thank I got to know about Somo uh, a while back. I was on uh, maternity leave. That was in uh, January. So when, um, when I was just sitting with my baby during the three months that uh, I was uh, just seated, uh, you know, breastfeeding the first three months, I, I saw an advert popping up on uh, Facebook. So I clicked on it and uh, I applied. It was just, I think it's just the instinct. Uh, so once I applied it, uh, I was given a call, I think after a month and I uh, was invited to come, you know, and uh, present what I do for my business. What motivated, the minute I walked into the SOMO doors, what motivated me to get into SOMO and to stick there is the support. I, I told them, I told the teachers, and I'll say it again, the level of support you get here is not just the teacher-student support. They really do it, it's as if they know you from the beginning and you're part of the family. So they are very, very helpful and the education. So I went through a three months education process where I am able to do my accounting, I am able to do sales, I am able to handle stress when it comes to my business, you know, and some my business. So the three months training was very, very helpful, even besides everything else. That was the most amazing part, the learning. And it made me uh, to bring back, um, you know, the confidence that anything is possible and that uh, this business is meant to just kick off, you know, and. Uh, and, uh, you know, succeed.
comes to production of my, of my products, it has been a little bit challenging doing it alone uh, because uh, uh, doing production is a bit expensive, especially when you want to do it in bulk. Because I'll be honest, right now massage oil is peaking in Kenya uh, at a very, very high rate. So uh, me, doing small, um, me doing small productions was not really helpful because I'm, I'm getting into the boys and I need to do in mass. So the funding uh, for me was a bit challenging. So partnering with Somo, I am able to, you know, uh, to do marketing with no fear because when I'm doing small, uh, I'm producing in small quantity, I'm not able to, you know, market because I can't provide the product. But uh, partnering with Somo, I am able to do my, uh, to do production in a large scale. At least they have supported me financially and they're able to even give me a market out there. Um, I use oh, I use my products on myself. I don't choose any other product because I believe in my products and I know the quality I'm providing out there. So yes, uh, use uh, mostly when I when I start uh, producing my products, I normally check the pH and everything, and I'm able to start using them on myself. And I know when it goes to cabs, it will pass because you know uh, it's something that I'm using already. Yes. Something that I will really advise from experience um, is, is that when you, when you step, before I got into SOMO, I had a lot of people that will uh, step in and uh, promise to partner with you. But you know, they are, they are mostly focused on your ideas and you know, to take your ideas away. So the first thing is uh, know, who you to, know who to trust. You should know who to trust. That is the first step. And then just start, start small. Um, Pick your ideas. Like I said, I introduced the uh, like the strawberry massage oil in uh, Kenya. I just picked my product, took it to the boys, and I, I think it's the number one favorite when it comes to massages, uh, nail spas, and all that. Um, just start small. Just do it. No matter how many times you fail, just keep doing it. This is, uh, I think, the third time uh, I'm starting again. You know, you get in, start a company with people, and uh, they fail you. This is the, the, that time I'm doing it and uh, I'm here. So if I, I stopped and I gave up, I wouldn't be here. What motivated me to continue is the fact that I'm in love with production and with beauty products. I just love my job. Uh, I wouldn't even say my job. Something that, just, that I just love doing. Um, so that has motivated me to go through and through over and over again and the fact that I know I'm, 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 uh, I'm making an impact to a local Mona Inchi somewhere that they're able, you know, to, if they have a passion for, you know, making nails, they're able to go in, get my massage oil, get my polish remover and, you know, just start their business because they're able to afford my products. Uh, my products include uh, body splash, we have uh, baby sunscreen cream, uh, we have uh, body scrubs, we have polish removers. Um, um, mostly those are the ones we are mostly focusing. Uh, we are mostly focusing with. We are also introducing hair mousse and other products like uh, you know uh, lash lash growth oil. Um, uh, vitamin C oil for the uh, skin and uh, so many varieties that uh, we will soon introduce by the end of this year. Where I'm, I see myself in the coming five years uh, is the fact that I'll be the number one distributor of uh, things like the massage oil, the body splash, the uh, body scrubs, uh, the polish removers. I know I'll be the number one supplier in Africa. That one is guaranteed. So um, uh, besides uh, Kenya, 
You are also in Sudan, uh, it's really booming when it comes to nails. So we are getting our head into Sudan very, very well. So we'll just keep going up and up and uh, we finish Africa and we, you know, we expand to the world. We are able to as Kenyans, we are very, very able to. Actually, I have a background in research. So things like those go through my mind every day. I've always thought uh, of starting, you know, a packaging company to solve this issue and, you know, an eco-friendly packaging company whereby we take waste products and produce, you know, our own packaging materials. But uh, those are plans in future because uh, starting that requires capital. So yes, uh, I plan on doing that in future. We remain profitable as a business by producing in bulk. And you know, uh, like I said, I'm a researcher, so I keep up with the trends. I know right now vitamin C is all over, so I've introduced a vitamin C massage oil, whereby I know um, everyone will be up for grabs for it. So just keeping up with the trends when it comes to the beauty industry and uh, providing, maintaining the same quality of products and providing a variety of products. So that's how we keep ourselves uh, profitable. Um, I'll tell anyone out there with an idea when it comes to uh, the beauty industry, uh, this is the thing. Whatever is out there, someone sat down and invented it. So do not fear at all to just stand up and start something. Do not. Uh, the moment you do, all these ideas are just useless. If you cannot act on your ideas, um, it's just uh, as useless as whoever is acting on an idea that's not actually working. So uh, I would say get up, keep trying. Uh, no matter how many times you, you fall, just keep uh, doing it. Uh, because there's no, the person who's uh, leading right now in the world when it comes to cosmetic uh, industry, there's no difference between you and them. They just do not give up. So our Facebook, uh, our Facebook page is to share cosmetics. Um, at uh, TikTok, we are at Touche Cosmetics. Uh, our phone number is uh, 0712-174-122. So you can reach me when you need uh, our products. Uh, when you're out there and you have a boutique, we are available. We sell at distributor price, at retail, at uh, wholesale. So depending on the quantities you have, we are locally available. So when it comes to patenting, that is something that I am number one working on uh, because, uh, like I said, uh, we introduced massage oil a bit a while back, a while back, and the biggest challenge is from then people uh, kept stealing the idea uh, on and on and on again. So this is something that is in the process. We are currently uh, doing it. So in a few months, yes, we'll be patented. Mm -hmm.